STS-56 was a Space Shuttle Discovery mission to perform special experiments. The mission was launched from Kennedy Space Center, Florida, on 8 April 1993. Crew Mission highlights The primary payload of the flight was the Atmospheric Laboratory for Applications and Science II designed to collect data on the relationship between the Sun's energy output and Earth's middle atmosphere and how these factors affect the ozone layer. It included six instruments mounted on a Spacelab pallet in the cargo bay, with the seventh mounted on the wall of the bay in two getaway special canisters. Atmospheric instruments included the Atmospheric Trace Molecule Spectroscopy experiment, the Millimeter Wave Atmospheric Sounder and the Shuttle Solar Backscatter Ultraviolet a spectrometer on the cargo bay wall. Solar science instruments were the Solar Spectrum Measurement instrument, the Solar Ultraviolet Irradiance Monitor and the Active Cavity Radiometer and Solar Constant experiments. ATLAS-2 is one element of NASA's Mission to Planet Earth program. All seven ATLAS-2 instruments first flew on ATLAS-1 during STS-45, and flew a third time in late 1994 on STS-66. On of April, the crew used the remote manipulator arm to deploy the Shuttlepoint Autonomous Research Tool for Astronomy 201, Spartan 201 a free-flying science instrument platform designed to study velocity and acceleration of the solar wind and observe the Sun's corona. Collected data was stored on tape for playback after return to Earth. Spartan 201 was retrieved on 13 April. The crew also made numerous radio contacts to schools around the world using the Shuttle Amateur Radio Experiment 2 including brief radio contact with the Russian Mir space station, the first such contact between Shuttle and Mir using amateur radio equipment. It was arguably the first time that the astronauts received amateur television video from the Ham Radio Club station at JSC. Other cargo bay payloads were the Solar Ultraviolet Experiment sponsored by Colorado Space Grant Consortium and located in a getaway special canister on the cargo bay wall. The MIDIC payloads were the Commercial Materials Dispersion Apparatus Instrumentation Technology Associates Experiment the Physiological and Anatomical Rodent Experiment Space Tissue Loss Experiment, the Cosmic Ray Effects and Activation Monitor Experiment the handheld, earth-oriented, real-time, cooperative, user-friendly, location targeting and environmental system Hercules, radiation monitoring equipment 3 RME3, and an Air Force Maui optical site AMOS calibration test. See also List of human spaceflights List of Space Shuttle missions Nikon NASA F-4 Outline of Space Science Space Shuttle External links NASA Mission Summary STS-56 video highlights This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration